First up today, the big countdown is on for the big gig. Mm -hmm. Summerfest is less than a week away, so we thought it would be great to get an insider's look at what goes on behind the scenes. It's so much fun. Bob Babish is the VP of Entertainment. He's got an important job because he's the guy who's in charge of booking the industry's hottest stars, finding the upcoming musicians, and hiring our local favorites. And that's so that 850,000 people can wow, have the time right. of their lives <laughs> at Summerfest. That is a big job, Stressful. Bab. Yes, it is. But big it's fun. job, Bob. But it is fun. <laughs> yeah. And I like the tip on the steak. I'm going to try that. Try that. that. It works. It's Absolutely. a good one. Thank yeah. you. You'll love it. You got a big job. 850,000 people you need to entertain for Summerfest. Yeah, but we're excited about it. Every year it's, a, it's just a new challenge. We've been doing it for a long, long time, mm -hmm. as you know. So kicking it off this year with the Imagine Dragons and all the other bands next Wednesday is going to be so much fun. And we have a lot of new stages we're talking about we have the US cellular connection stage and we have mm -hmm. a free show tonight with Diplo down there so people should come on down Great. and check that that's out at so seven o'clock tonight and that's at seven o'clock tonight yes and uh, we're excited and we're ready but we're cranked up yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been going to Summerfest my entire life and it is it is one of the great venues for music in the world yeah. in my opinion though you've done an incredible job of booking these hacks it's been amazing but I've also heard some incredible stories about bands that have been booked and some of the requests and things that they have <laughs> you know for food and sure. can you share any kind of fun stories well, that might know, be interesting it, it is true if, if you talk about 30 years ago Bands were a little wilder than they are now. Right. I mean, you think but, of the rock and roll yeah, days. Yeah, the real rock yeah. and roll days sure. where everybody had to have a case of Jack Daniels or whatever <laughs> backstage in their dressing rooms. But things have changed, and now it's macrobiotic meals. Really? Real silverware, real china, real wow. tablecloths. I mean, you've got 100, 120 people on the road. So if somebody gets sick, things get screwed up. You yeah. Know? Sure. So a lot of the wildness that is gone. I mean, there's some young bands yet that are still crazy out there. but. By and large, the, the big name acts, it's a business. Right? Wow. I remember one time um, in years past when we'd asked, you know, we've heard about crazy requests of people requesting only green Skittles or green M&Ms. And mm -hmm. you've said in the past the reason they do that isn't because they want to be high maintenance or they want that um, actual food. It's to see if people are paying attention to the rider right. and, and the contract. And that was Van Halen. And they put that out. It was brown M&Ms, actually. Yes. And, they, and, they put, <laughs> and they put that out. They wanted, I think, five pounds of M&Ms and all the brown ones removed <laughs> is what it was. Isn't Unbelievable. It and is. they did that because the tour before that they were out and they realized that people weren't following the riders. So they got there and the sound system they needed wasn't there oh, and the really? catering stuff they needed wasn't there. So he said, we'll put this in and make sure the people are reading it. Did sure. you read it? Did you do I it? I didn't do the band that <laughs> year. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have caught it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It, it well, we've been, got, right? you know, we're careful about the riders. We go through them. When you have a festival situation and you have headliners on every stage, mm -hmm. you can't give them all what they want. Right. And you, you just can't too make it too expensive and too much time. Mm. So what you do is you kind of have to cut it back. So we go through it with a pen and... Line Change item. It. Yeah, line <laughs> items indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. Have there been any bands that have come in with just huge entourages, you know, or oh, people yeah. that are pretty chill? You know, how does that work? It's interesting. You've got some bands. There was the Divas. Sure. Yeah. You know, Who's the, a diva? Uh, Give us yeah, yeah, the diva. Come on. Come on, Bob. There's, there's, a shit, there's a bunch of them out there. <laughs> there's a bunch, yeah. So, but the Divas will come with an entourage. I've had tour managers. I had one tour manager tell me one year that he worked with an artist for eight months and never even talked to her. No way. He, he said, I would talk to the people around <gasps> her. Wow. And that, that doesn't work. It just yeah. doesn't work. And, and But there are other bands. I mean, if you look at bands like the Stones now, yeah. the Stones have kind of pared down the things that they do. And they like to play. I mean, they could play in somebody's living room. They sure. just love yeah. to play music. So there's a band that they come in during, you know, in the morning at 10 o'clock and they just hang out. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. And you've got wow. some bands that'll stay in Chicago and fly into dates right after the show, fly out of town. Mm -hmm. Okay. But some bands still love to play. Sure. Well, I like to hear that, that there are some like super chill, down to earth, small mm -hmm. entourages who really are there for the music, not right. the fame. Because that's what we want as fans. We want people to be about the music. Absolutely. Um, is there anyone that you really want to get that you've never been able to get to come to Milwaukee? Yes, there is. Who? I can't say. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> I'm still You're working on it. You're still working, still working on it. Yeah. But maybe this can be our push to them. Yeah, sure. No, I no. can't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. One of these days I'll get them, though. Which concert do you have yet to see? Yeah. Wow. Boy, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people. Uh, well, that's a good call. I don't know. Best one of all time? Yeah, can you best give us one of those? Best show of all, yeah, well, the best show, I think, at Summerfest was when we had the Pearl Jam date that canceled, and mm. four days later, they decided to play anyway. We, they were having an argument with Ticketmaster, Ticketron in those days about yeah. fees, 
and we convinced them that we were one of the lowest fees in the country, so they came in and played. And it was the only date they did on that run of dates, and when he hit the stage, it was just magical. Oh. Right. Yeah. What an incredible experience. All the years you've done this, this yeah. has got to be very rewarding. But you know what? Every one of them is, is a little bit different. Is it? And when you walk into to a, a stage and the lights, we always, we always say this, whoever, all of us who work at Summerfest agree on this, yeah. that when the lights go down, Band walks on stage and the lights go back up and people start screaming. That's why we do it. That's, that's magic. That's it. Yeah, that is exactly magic. Exactly right. Man. It is. It's true. Wow. Who are you uh, most excited to see this year? I'm a big fan of Jason Isbell in okay. the 400 okay. unit. He's going to be playing over the okay. BMO stage. I want to see Halsey. I think that's going to be fun. Blake Shelton is going to be a great show. That'd Arcade great Fire show. we've tried to get for years. Ugh. Janelle Monet we want to see. I mean, there's so many of them. You're wow. wonderful. So list. Diplo tonight, <laughs> we'll give people that information, 7 o'clock. Tonight, you can see it's free concert. The Midgate is first come, first served. So that's how you can get in. It's at the U.S. Cellular stage at Summerfest. Summerfest.com is your app to go to so you can get there. You got to get the Power Pass, man. That's how you <laughs> really make it happen. Bob gave us ours every that's year. It's like and, the best thing ever. And I brought over some Sean Mendes tickets that's for you guys That's right. To give away. It's oh, a giveaway wow. right now because he's so nice. Yeah. It's a giveaway. Two tickets to Sean Mendes for the July 5th concert. That's a Thursday. So you got to be available. 414 799 44 444 call right now. Caller number seven is going to win both of those tickets. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you, Bob. guys. Yeah, fantastic. Love it. You've got a big job and you do an you incredible sure job. Thank you. Yeah.